Hi there, I hope you are all having a lovely day. In today's video, I will compare what is in my opinion the best hand grinders under $100. We are giving away 5 hand grinders for 5 lucky winners. Stay tuned to know more about that. Before starting, I want to thank Salford Coffee Roasters for sending us a wide range of their coffee beans to test with all these hand grinders. They are the visitor roaster of today's video. What is your brewing method? filter or espresso and what is your budget if you aim for filter coffee like v60 cold brew or french press in that case you will be aiming for a grinder that will give you a great consistency in ground coffee particles for clean sweet and crisp filter coffee if your aim is for espresso then you want a grinder with a micro adjustment that will allow you to perfectly dial your espresso shot rather than a grinder with big adjustments one click finer and you will choke your espresso machine and one click coarser and coffee will be spurting everywhere now many grinders will be able to grind for both brewing methods however most of them will excel in one brewing method over the other to start with you would definitely want to stay away from ceramic burr grinders like this one. While many people had previous experience as their first grinder, including myself, there are far more better grinders with a slightly higher price tag that will give you superior quality compared to what you will get from this one. You will be able to get decent results in filtered coffee with ceramic burr grinders and surprisingly, out of curiosity, I was able to grind for espresso using it a few years ago. It took around 3 minutes to grind 80 ground and the espresso shot was barely drinkable it was ashy muddy and very harsh not to mention the effort it took me to grind there has been a huge improvement in hand grinders in the past few years and at this stage you just have too many options for Middleburg grinders to go with so let's move on to the next category time more c grinders Timor was one of the very first companies to provide budget-friendly hand grinder with great results, bang for buck as they say. Initially, the very first C was called C1, which was exactly as the same as this one, apart from the plastic thread on the dosing cup. Both C1 and C2 use a burr geometry that is quite famous for its great filter coffee results. However, it cannot be used for espresso. Well, I did try to give it a go once for espresso and it took me almost 6 minutes to grind. It's just not made for espresso or let's say this burr geometry is not made for final grind setting. Around a year ago, Time More came with a C3 with an upgraded burr. This one will still give you the great filter coffee results of the C2 burr with the additional ability to grind for espresso due to the added upper cutting teeth the C3S and the C3 Espresso. With those upgrades, Timor has switched to fully metal structure and instead of the plastic central stability area in the C2 and the C3, now it is made from one solid aluminum piece. Instead of the plastic handle lid and the plastic handle knob, they are both made from aluminum. As for the grind dial, it is taller and easier to grip with the tip of your fingers when compared to the short one. The only two differences between the C3S and the C3 Espresso are the grinding dial and the central axle. With the C3 Espresso, in order to offer finer grind adjustments, there are finer clicks range on the dial plate, and the central axle has finer thread than the central axle in the C3S. In addition to those two latest versions, they decided to offer the option of getting their foldable handle, which I'm a huge fan of. If you wish to get one with foldable handles, it will be called Pro. Basically, C3S Pro and C3 Espresso Pro. C3S will give you a difference between 15 to 35 seconds per click, which is barely acceptable for dialing an espresso shot, as one click will be too fine, another click will be okay, and an additional third click will be too coarse. As for the C3 Espresso with the supposedly finer adjustments, you will get a difference between 5 seconds and up to 30 seconds per click. While this is more accurate compared to the C3S, it is still not an ideal range for espresso dialing. However, I would say it would be a reasonable option. As a reference of how difficult it is to grind with, I'm going to use well-developed roasting profile first in espresso. I 
I would say it is reasonable and I love the diamond engravings on the body of Time More. It gives you a very effective grip over the grinder. Now we will try light roast and denser coffee beans. It is still achievable, but you feel that you are kind of pushing the grinder to its limits. Kind of. Taste-wise, most espresso shots were reasonable and enjoyable. You might feel a bit of harshness, but overall I would say it is good considering the price tag. As for filter coffee, I have always enjoyed the filter coffee from the C2 grinder, which uses slightly different bird geometry, and with the C3 the results are very similar. King Grinder K2 King Grinder has two another cheaper models than the K2, which are K0 and K1. K0 is very similar to the Time War C2. It will give you the same results taste-wise, but it requires more time to grind with, and I think it is due to the way that it feeds the beans to the burrs. As for the K1, it has a bird geometry that is better for espresso, but as it takes around two and a half minutes to grind for espresso, I would personally recommend the K2 over both of them. The K2 has larger burrs, which makes the grinding time faster for espresso. Also, due to the rubber sleeve on the main body and the larger ball bearings, it is very easy to grip and grind for espresso. In a matter of fact, this grinder is designed with the ability to use a cordless screwdriver as an option. You can keep the lid on and remove the handle to allow the use of electric screwdrivers like we did in the past in this video. Now I know some might argue that you will be damaging the grinders and the bearings using screwdriver. However, in order to understand that this grinder is built to handle the extra pressure, here's a comparison between its central axle and different grinders axles. This is a comparison between its ball bearings and other grinders ball bearings. Those are just for your reference to estimate why it will handle the torque of the screwdriver. Keep in mind that you will still need to hold the grinder with a strong grip and the noise will be very loud. It is nice to know that you have this feature to use if needed. It has micro grind adjustments that are enough to dial your perfectly timed espresso shot as with each click you will get a difference of 5 seconds in your espresso. Most espresso shots were delicious, well balanced, with enjoyable tasting notes. The larger burrs are just more capable, especially when it comes to light roasts. In filtered coffee taste wise, Time More C2 and C3 will give you better results over it in regards to the clarity and tasting notes. You will still get a decent coffee out of it. Now for a reference on how it feels to grind for espresso, I'm going to use medium roasted coffee beans here. You do feel the difference between this and the Time More Espresso. This one is just made to handle the pressure. Now we're gonna test it with light roasted coffee beans. I would say the rubber sleeve make the difference in easing the grip and you do feel that you're not putting a lot of pressure on the grinder. It is capable of being used for espresso on a daily basis and I honestly wouldn't mind that. Normcore V3 Grinder Now I have here the prototype of the upcoming V3 grinder from Normcore. They have upgraded the burr to 7 cutting angles. They have significantly improved the handle knob to a metal one that is very smooth in rotating. It has a nice thick rubber handle holder slash thumb stopper and they did inform us that they are even planning on lengthening the rubber piece. You will get reasonable extraction difference time with each click ranging from 7 seconds and up to 25 seconds per click. It is not an ideal option for espresso, but it will get the job done. It requires reasonable force to grind with 
and I would say it is on the difficult side as this bird geometry is optimized for filter coffee and it requires more grinding torque. Unfortunately, as this one was sent without the final touches and it is a prototype, the handle knob fell off and I couldn't reattach it. However, I'm able to use the handle of the upcoming grinder for the purpose of demonstrating the grinding feedback for you. Now honestly, with dark roast and most developed roasting profiles, most hand grinders will be reasonable to grind with in espresso with light roast. I would say it's mostly achievable, but you get some occasional hard stuffs while grinding, like some bumps. But it is achievable. Let's give it a try for filter coffee with light roasted coffee beans. Now it is very satisfying to grind for filter coffee and no matter the roast will be achievable. I was using light roast here. Taste wise in espresso, almost all the shots were really delicious. Reasonable body, good clarity and the tasting notes were easy to taste. If that makes sense. Filter coffee, it is not as clean and crisp as you would imagine from this bird geometry, yet still I was very happy with it. Sweet, juicy and clean filter coffee. All in all, it is a versatile hand grinder and a great travel companion. It also fits inside an AeroPress, which I know many people like to do that. Last but not least, the Onesipresso Q2S. Some people might say like, it's pronounced EasyPresso, but I'm used to Onesipresso, so I don't know, I like to call it that way. This grinder checks so many boxes, it is tiny but mighty. It uses the same 7 angles burr geometry that is used in Normcore. It has the latest foldable handle design by Onesipresso, which makes it the Q2S, as S will stand for the foldable handle. I love the fact that they have added numbers on the grinding dial, which I would love to see in Normcore V3 in the future. But the real zero is at number 3 in this grinder. It is not big issue, and you can consider that number 3 is your zero point, and count from there. However, I do wish to see it stopping at number zero in future upgrade. With each click, you will get a difference in extraction ranging between 6 to 30 seconds. Again, it is not an ideal time for espresso, but I really enjoyed the shot from it and it can be used for espresso. As for filter coffee, it takes between a minute and 10 seconds to a minute and 30 seconds to grind 15 ground. It is a common time with this bird geometry due to its small size and the higher ground consistency. Taste wise, similar to the Normcore V3, it makes delicious espresso and filter coffee. The small size allows you to fit it inside an AeroPress and it is perfect for traveling. With dark roast and espresso setting. Now first of all, because it's very tiny and thin, the diameter is small, it is much easier to grip it with all your hands. Now I have relatively large hands, but still even if you have smaller hands, it will be easy to get a grip of all of it. Mostly because people think that the grinding is happening with the handle knob, whereas in reality it's all happening with the body of the grinder. You are rotating the handle, but you are not stopping and rotating the handle. It's a mix of both movements. Basically, all the work and the effort is within my right hand. My left hand is just maneuvering around. Light roast espresso setting. Now, similar to the norm core, putting pressure on the grinder, but at the same time, you feel the build quality can easily handle it. Now to summarize everything you need to know about the best hand grinders under 100 US dollar, if your main aim is for espresso and you are planning on doing this on a daily basis, the King Grinder K2 is by far the best grinder for that. It has the largest burst between all of these grinders, accurate grind adjustments to dial your espresso shot, great build quality and it requires reasonable force to grind for espresso, plus that additional cordless screwdriver feature to use if you want it.
If you want something just for a filter and you're on a tight budget, both the Time More C2 and C3 are wonderful for that. With the latest C3 and C3 Espresso, you have the ability to brew that occasional espresso shots. Now if you want a travel friendly grinder with great filter coffee results and occasional espresso capabilities, both the Normcore V3 and the One Espresso Q2S are perfect for that. It comes to your personal preference and accessories, features, whatever you prefer. Both are great. That's it. I hope I was able to offer helpful feedback with these grinders. It really took me a long time to test them and to share confident feedback with you. I want to thank Sigma Coffee UK for lending us the extra Time More grinders for the purpose of this video. I will leave a link to their store for our friends in the UK. Also, a huge thanks for Normcore for offering 5 friends the chance to win their upcoming V3 grinder. All you have to do is to check the link in the description below. The more people that join the giveaway, the better feedback we will get for future giveaways. We would appreciate all of you entering. Our friends at Salford Roasters offered you 10% discounts. Also, you can feel free to check it in the description section. Take care and I see you very soon in the next video. Bye.